of a better time to join me on a Facebook Live because tonight, um, unusually actually, I'm going to promote this book. Um, there's a lot to talk about with the book <clears throat> and we'll have a look at it in a little while. But tonight I've had the opportunity to show you the new Kim Porter book. Now you may not have any idea who Kim Porter is, um, but she's, um, she's a friend who I've known for, gosh, years and years and years. Um, she probably won't remember, but I used to shop from her 25 years ago at least um, at Ali Pali uh, at the Knitting and Stitching Show. And it was always the stand that I used to seek out. Uh, sometimes I used to have to sort of really sort of um it sort of uh kind of touch base and then move on because uh, the fabrics were just too awesome and sometimes sometimes I couldn't think straight even though I had fantastic ideas in my head prior to seeing Kim on her stand but all of that goes out of the window because all you can see is her beautiful work. She's surrounded by it. And over the years, she's built up that fabulous collection of um, quilts and cushions and, and knickknacks, I suppose. Just things that we like to stitch. Um, so good evening to everybody that's watching. So we're live on Facebook, Lizzie Curtis page, and we're live on YouTube as well, which is lovely. And we'll see if anybody joins us from YouTube. Um, but this is all about Kim Porter and her new book. And I was delighted when she gave me the chance to show this to you and to offer one to you as well. Now, I'll tell you in good time how you could win one of these books. Um, in the meantime, we just need to sort of have a look at it. Now, um, if you follow me on a regular basis, you'll know over the last couple of weeks or so um, that I've been making some cushions. I've got one here and I've got one behind me there. Um, you can see some of the, you can see some of the the rolls that I bought from Kim um, probably in the last 12 months um, that haven't been used yet. We can have a look at one um, a little bit later and I've got a pile of things here to show you as well. So she is um, she is, as I said, um, prolific in what she does and she's so good at it. Um, she started off life kind of with Liberty, really. And somewhere in my room, I have a bag of Liberty scraps that I bought from her easily 20 years ago that I've used. I've shared with my mum. I've had back. I've used again. Um, lots of them are for little applique projects that I do now because they're so precious. They're vintage fabrics. So um, some of them are very precious. Um, and now she kind of specialises more in flannelette materials and um, shirtings, uh, old tablecloths, damasks, that sort of thing. So, oh, that's Millie. <laughs> that's my dog. Um, and so it's a lot of um, an eclectic mix, I suppose, of very vintage fabrics that she, she obtains. And she still does go through the charity shops to find what uh, all those fabrics that she needs. Um, and she puts together kits. So if you go to any of the shows, the big shows, um, you'll probably see Kim Porter there from Worn and Washed selling her wares. She attracts a lot of people, I have to say, which is no wonder. Um, thank you so much for joining me this evening. I can see an awful lot of names coming on up here that are so familiar to me. Um, we've got um, Jane and Jackie and Marilyn and June, Patricia. <coughs> oh, Millie, whatever's the matter. Perhaps there's fireworks going on. <laughs> there's Chris, there's Kath, there's Bridget and Rachel as well. And it's just lovely to have your company. It really is. Um, let's hope Millie goes and finds John. Um, <laughs> so uh, without further ado, let's get a close up and personal look at the at the book. So we'll just uh, change camera angles and I'll bring you down here so you can see. I get my technology out of the way. Um, so this is the book. It's about just over six inches by um, nine inches. I mean, I just count that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 inches nearly and um, so it's nice neat and compact um, it's been completely put together by Kim it's been printed by one of her local printers she, oh sorry guys she had somebody edit it let me just go and see if I can get John um, see if I can get him to come and pick pick Millie up um, let's just see 
Um, right, I've sent him a little note. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know why she's barking because she's normally really good. Unless she sees something, and if she sees something she wants, then that's it. She's going to let everybody know about it. Um, anyway, so here's the book. So this is the front cover. It's beautiful from day one, from book, from page one, I should say. Um, she has a little bit of an introduction in there. There's lots of hints and tips, lots of fantastic information on. Um, how you should treat your fabrics, how you should stitch them. This is her beautiful daughter Annabelle wearing one of the original blue stripey or strippy um, scarves and obviously we've got a fantastic um, contents there. John has come up to get Millie. Millie's been barking John, yeah. she's, she's very keen tonight um, and she is, uh, Kim is signing the book for everyone as well which is just wonderful isn't it, a lovely personal touch. Um, so yeah, so she created the whole thing and it's taken months and months to get this done for everybody um, and you just have to start looking at some of the photos in here to understand that this is the sort of book that you could um, just pick up and put down to have in your handbag, to have going on your holidays, just to have something beside you that's going to give you some inspiration, some ideas, um, using some of these gorgeous fabrics here. Now these are a range of flannelettes. So in there we will have um, old shirts and sheeting. Um, so there, there's a, a plethora of colours in there. And when she first started, she created with more of the pink tones. And, and as we go through the book, you'll see she's developed that now and she's more into her blues, which is strange, isn't it? Um, how we go from one thing to another um, and we sort of kind of leave something behind and bring something on board. So um, this this is our journey, really. So it she's sort of tells us how she began, what her thoughts were, how she gets things, where she donates her money to, because she does support some charities, like I say, where it all begins. It's absolutely fabulous. Here she gives you a guide on where to find fabrics yourself, um, you know, and which is very, very generous of her, considering that, that this is her business. Why on earth would she tell us where to go and what to look for? But that's what Kim's like. She's very generous with her time and her knowledge, which is what it's all about. I love this. I love this little um, quote here where she said, I've had a few incredibly lucky finds, one of them being falling into a pallet of shirt pieces donated to my local charity by a UK based sh shirt manufacturer. Also, there was the day I came across a lady selling umpteen cotton velvet duvet covers that messed with her automatic ironing machine. I mean, what a result. Ah, oh, just think of the the just think of all those gorgeous projects that you can create and if anybody has seen that beautiful stocking that I made and I don't mind saying it's beautiful because it is um, uh, on my discussion on my page um, all of those fabrics came from Kim we actually had a, a kit from her last year I, I commissioned a kit so it's just sort of going through and here we are some of my favorite inspirational moments came from and then she talks to you about how that happened and preparing the fabrics i just love this i'm there are you i'm there in her garden you know she's she's washed all these shirts and she gives us lots of tips on how to wash them and what to do with them once they're washed um, and airing them outside and drying them outside is the best way and you get that smell don't you you get that smell of freshly washed linen um, and that's what she is really quite honestly that every time I press a piece of that fabric of hers that smell comes through it's gorgeous it's gorgeous so she tells you really how to create the sort of looks that she is she's created over the years and when you start looking at some of her makes it's very obvious that she's created a wonderful textural effect to her work and that's um and she tells us how that is created and that's the sort of thing that we want to try and emulate. Now, before I go any further, let's do let's do the maths. Let's do let's try and work out how much this is going to cost you and what you have to do to win a book. Now, I just happen to have this is where we're at. I'll keep it like that for the moment. So I have a book here. 
to give away, okay? Now, the rule is this. <laughs> the price of this book is just £10, including postage and packaging in the UK. If you are abroad, anywhere in the world and you're watching this, Kim will send it to you, but obviously you'll have to talk to her about postage because I know the postage overseas is ever such a lot of money. So um, you need to negotiate with um, uh, Kim separately about that. However, this book is a mere £10, including postage and packaging, with a personalised thank you from Kim in there, worth its weight in gold. It's a plethora, a mine of information that if you're a lover of Kim's fabrics, you will absolutely crave for and it will tick all your boxes because you're going to see all of her work close up and personal and I don't know about you but when we go to the craft fairs and the events around the country and we see her on her stand you know what I could stand there for an hour or more just touching naughty and looking at all the things that she's made and created using her fabrics well it's all in the book here I'm not going to say every piece is in the book but, but there's a lot in there and a lot of inspiration so the book is 10 pounds including postage and packaging and hopefully if one of my admin are watching <laughs> they will post the link to where you need what or rather what you need to do now um kim wants to be paid via paypal now you don't need a paypal account um, all you need to do is open up the PayPal app or on the website, wherever. And when you go to pay, it gives you an option right down the bottom to say pay by credit or debit card. And you can click that and you don't make a PayPal account. So let's just get that completely straight. You do not pay, uh, pay through a PayPal account. So um, or you can just pay her as normal through your PayPal account. Friends and family is good because then she doesn't get charged anything. Um, and the um, oh, thank you, Jackie. Jackie has popped on the um, email address, I think. Yes, the email address for PayPal to pay Kim the £10. Now, what I've asked or what I'm going to ask him to do is as your orders come through and there were loads yesterday from my gold group, my online sewing group. I know there was loads as your orders go through a little bit later on this evening or perhaps tomorrow morning. I'm going to ask him to pick a name from the orders that have been placed. Now, then I've got the book. So don't expect him to cancel your order. I don't want her to cancel your order. I've got you a second book, okay? Now you might say, oh, I don't want a second book, Liz. I say, hold on a minute. <laughs> your friend will, a friend who perhaps you would buy something for for Christmas will. It may be that you'll want to pass it on in another way. I'm not going to tell you how or what. And you will get the, the cost back from that. So I would say to you, why wouldn't you want two books? One for you, perhaps in your handbag, one at home to give to a friend, to give to a neighbour, to take down to a quilting group, to take to your craft event, to take to a craft fair and promote Kim's work yourself if you're passionate like me. Um, there's so many reasons why this book wouldn't be useful to you. So if you place an order this evening, it's £10 plus, uh, including postage and packaging, I will ask him to pick a name out from all of those orders and I will send this book to you in the next couple of days or so. Well, it'll have to be from Monday, won't it? And I think that's an amazing thing to do. I think she's been very generous. She has given me that book to give to you from me to you via Kim or from Kim to you via me, whichever way you look at it. And, and I will send that out to you. There's no charge to you whatsoever. So you need to place an order, okay? I don't want to comment. Uh, uh, I figured that if I just got a comment, I'd get 2,000 comments and uh, it'll be an absolute minefield to try and find somebody to, to win the book, you know, to scroll through. Because sometimes PayPal, uh, uh, Facebook doesn't load all the names. So it can be a nightmare. So if you want to order Kim's book, 
find the email address that Jackie has posted in the comments. Just go back. If you can't find it now, look after the live and place your order via PayPal and it's £10. It's an absolute bargain. Right, so let's go on. Oh, thank you, Gemma. Gemma's put it down there as well for us. So let's just have a quick again, look again and carry on having a look through this book. Now we've done the maths and all the inside information that you need. Now look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. And actually I've, I've made two or three of these quilts now with her packs of flannelette material, which is she's getting, it's getting harder and harder for her to find these. So these are going to be really worth something in the future. They're like, they're like gold dust. And it's a lot of strip quilting. Now, if you think, oh, I, I can't make, I can't make quilts, it's too much. These are so easy to put together. All the strips have been cut for you and you just join them together into long strips and then you join the strips together and then all you do is sandwich it up and run it under your machine. And I can assure you, your domestic machine will go through all of those layers easily. It's absolutely beautiful. And the more you, well, wash it and wear it, that's called worn and wash, isn't it? But you know what I mean? If you, like I sit on one on my sofa, the more you use it, the more gorgeous it becomes. Um, so the great thing is that she's given you patterns in here as well. As you can see, look, that's the, the strips being put together. She irons every stage. Every time she, she sews a seam and she puts those long pieces together, she presses them so they're beautiful. Um, and then she talks to you about basting the quilt, binding and quilting. It's all fabulous. Now have a look at this. Isn't that a picture of gorgeousness? And she hand quilts. So she hand quilts all of these. So if you don't want to put this under your machine, then sit on a night time over the next two or three months and just hand quilt. I mean, that it's actually, um, she uses um, a certain thread. I won't give you all the details because it's up to you to read the book to find out what she uses. Um, but she doesn't use a regular, like a Gutterman thread or even a quilting cotton. She uses something different. And that's what helps um, give that beautiful puffed up sort of look. Um, absolutely incredible. Look at this, absolutely gorgeous. And although it's when you start off and it's just a pack of, of pieces, by the time you've put it together, by the time you've stitched it and backed it and filled it with love, A, you won't want to give it away, um, but B, it'll become the most amazing heirloom. It really will. Both my daughters have got one. I've got one and I've got one in the making. I've got heaps and heaps and heaps of the flannelette that I must um, get through. But also I love it that she's she's using um, almost like traditional shapes like the hexagon and using her fabrics for that as well because it's or again it's giving that vintage hand stitch look that really makes this completely and utterly special. And again we've got the blues. See how she's transitioned now into the blues? totally gorgeous and this is her new venture I see I saw a lot of this on her stand where she's now looking at shirting and that type of fabric old shirts shirts that have been worn and washed and she's looking at the neutral palette so amazing over those uh, 25 years or so probably longer she has developed from this sort of um very uh, f almost pink and florally type um, look about her work and now she's going into sort of classic um, sort of planes um, and neutral colours. Beautiful. I love I love that little scene there that she's done. So you can see even with the bright colours it gives it really um, lots of depth and dimension and interest. There's always something to look at. When you look at this little quilt top here you can see where the great big piece of floral has been put in there and maybe she's got some uh, like a seersucker or gingham here. Um, some of it looks very um, very American if you, if you want to, for a better expression and other you get more traditional sort of British sort of feel about it sort of tea garden feel so there's lots of things in there that would I don't know set your mind on a journey of perhaps where that would fit into your house or to a friend's house whoever you wanted to make it for 
And then the irregular log cabin cushions. I love this where we've got dark and light. So we've got that transition from one to the other. And she talks to you about how to put those together. The blues again, absolutely gorgeous. And again, uh, this is something you should always do is to put your name and date on, on your quilt so you know when it was made. You've got the double stitching on the binding there. Can you see it's got two lines of stitching going down, all hand quilted. And look at this beautiful mix of colours. So, um, so just a quick reminder then about ordering this book. It's £10 including postage and packaging. You just need to go to PayPal. Um, Kath, um, oh, Kath, and, well she might have done. Um, Jackie and Gemma have put the link of her um, email address that you need to use into PayPal. And then you just send her the £10. She knows what it's for. She hasn't got anything else that's £10. She knows I'm doing this. Again, so she knows what the £10 is for. If you want to put a note on there to say it's for the book, that's fine. She will know what it's for. Um, but you can because even though it's PayPal, you can pay with your credit and debit card. If you log into PayPal and you don't have to have an account, right at the bottom it will say pay by credit or debit card. Click that and that takes you through the process of sending the £10 to Kim direct and uh, then she can send the book out to you, which is just, just fabulous. It really is. And you'll love it. And like I say, it was created, all of this was created by her. Um, all, all of this work is hers as well. She had a local um, person to edit it for her and she had a local printer print it for her. I love these as well. The tones of greys and blacks and whites as well. Really, really works. So there we are. Facts, and, um, facts, figures, favourite finds and useful notes. So again, she sort of gives you a little bit of information on there. And to finish up with, the most glorious picture on the back. And what I would want you to do is to study it. Because if you're interested in making anything with the Kim Porter fabrics, which she usually sells via her Instagram account, um, she, she has got a Facebook book, book group, a uh, page but she sells mainly through Instagram um, and if you're lucky enough to get any of her packs then these are the sort of things you can make but study this study how she has put this together how she stitched it how she's finished it I'm not going to give you any um, information because she tells you in the book but it's really worth I think that £10 of your hard-earned money and get, make it, this is perhaps your first Christmas present to yourself. She also does other things as well. So I'll just pop that to one side for the moment. This is something I picked up from her recently. And if any of you have seen my, my uh, uh, Christmas stocking on my page here, you'll see that these are very, very similar to the fabrics I used for that. And so these are the sort of packs that she sells. And again, it will be via Instagram. Um, she doesn't really sell anywhere else. She may have one or two bits on her website, but mainly um, on Instagram. And it tends to be at weekends as well. So you'll put little packs up um, at the weekends and you can choose what you want. Um, Christina, it's £10. Not, not this. This is mine. Uh, the book is £10. So another little thing you can buy from her, packs like this where it's just packs of shirting. So here we've got tones of blues, probably my favourite as well. And um, these, these are the sort of packs that you can pick up from her, from her stand. As you can see, I haven't opened this yet um, and a time will come. There's also this pack, which I'm gonna slide in because I opened it the other day and um, I, I opened it and that was it. That's all I did. But this is the blue and white glass cloth quilt, which I believe might be in the book. And again, it's all of the fabrics cut ready for me to make the beautiful quilt um, that we can see there. And you can see it's all pre-cut, all ready to go. There's my piece of damask tablecloth. There's really old fabrics there. Lovely, lovely, lovely pieces of shirting. So these are the sort of fabrics that you will see on her stand, maybe at the NEC, places like that. Or she'll sell the rolls like this. Um, they're big rolls, um, and they're, but they're small pieces. They're very manageable pieces. 
So first of all, they're probably really good for applique if that's that's the only thing you do with them. And I use them all the time for applique. Um, but these are the sort of packs where you can piece together and make the strips that we saw in the book. And if I if I was going to take one out, let me just I mean, there's never, ever a beginning or an end with these. Never, ever. And I can never figure it out anyway. Um, it's not like a jelly roll, but I'll try. I'll try and take a piece out. Who knows what will happen? Oh, that's a nice piece. <laughs> oh, dear me. Let's see if we can get that little piece out. There we go. So they're all five inch strips. Everything is cut. But it could be, uh, I mean, this one's about, um, I don't know, 10 inches long, maybe nine inches long. Um, but it could be it could be a five by five piece. It could be a piece five inches wide by 10, 15. Uh, it could be by eight. So it's always by five and it's different lengths. And it's fantastic because you just join them all together, make lots of little seams, join them all together and then join the long strips to make a fabulous quilt. And again, that's a lovely piece of um, I think that's probably brushed cotton rather than a, a flannelette, although it's very similar. And if I was to delve in and get another piece, um, and this is fabulous because this is a piece of shirting I'm going to get out of here now. Uh, I'd love to think I could put it back, but it's not going to happen, is it? So then we've got a nice piece of shirting. And of course, you could use the wrong side. You could use the right side. But you can see it's a different length. Can you see? It's different length to that other piece. But you'll find that it's exactly the right width to stitch together to create one of these beautiful quilts. And if we were to go back into the book again, Let's find the blue strippy quilt, see if we can find. Well, I mean, that's the sort of thing we're looking at, isn't it? Um, and let's have a look, see if I can find it. There we go, that sort of thing there. And st stitching those pieces together that I just showed you just here would create that. So I would say if you buy the book, and you can't be bothered to go shopping for yourself to the charity shops, places like that. Then wait for her sales and what have you on Instagram because she does it quite regularly. Um, and also she's at all the big shows. She's just done two. She's just done Melvin and she's done Duxford. I don't know what her next one will be. And she might she might let us know. So there we are. I, I promised her that I would um, promote that with you. Um, it, you're all lovely people and I know that you're very, very supportive of, first of all, everything that I do. And also, um, it's. I think you would trust me to know that if I love something enough, um, it's it's a genuine thing, and that's what this is. I absolutely adore it. I can't. I. I. I it's one. Of, I think it's one of these books that I'm going to have to take away with me, just in case I haven't got any stitching, and I just want to live in Kim's world for a little while. I can look at the book and think, oh, when I get home, I can do so and so and so. And so. <laughs> but you see my cushions behind me. Oop, oop. You can see my. If I turn that way, you can see that cushion there. That's all done with Kim's fabrics, but I have. Narrow, had narrow strips. I've, I've cut even those five inch width strips down and created that one. And of course, our grace pattern that our Catherine did the other day, that is um, from uh, Kim Porter Fabrics as well. And that's all the blues. And it's just stunning. And there's the other little one as well. And there's two more stacks. See? See, those are quilts. Those two, those are quilts. You can make a whole quilt with one of these. OK, and one. So, you know, when you look at the price of what it is, actually, it's very, very affordable. So there we are. I'm going to keep that safe. Oh, I'd, I'd love to put those two pieces back in. It's not going to happen. <laughs> So there we are. I love you and leave you. Thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you, Sue. Sue has bought the book. I wonder who else has. I'm going to look at the comments on my screen and tell me if you've ordered. Kathleen has ordered. Uh, oh, <laughs> Sally says, my hubby has lost a lot of weight, so his shirts uh, need recycling. Bonus for me. Bless him. Oh, yes. Well, very good for him. Very good for you. That's a double bonus. Uh, Cindy says, got my daughter to order the book for me. Oh, thank you so much. Um, Angela says, I'm recycling my son's shirts. That's so good, isn't it? Um, let's have a look. Uh, Rosina says she has ordered as well. Sandra says she ordered hers yesterday because, of course, I suspect a lot of these ladies are my gold ladies. And we, we did a whole 
hour and a quarter last night talking about the book and talking about gnomes, which <laughs> I don't need to get into. Anne says she's bought the book. Jackie says she's ordered it. Um, Anne says she's ordered the book as well. Uh, fantastic. Um, Carol Caroline says she's going to order after the live. I hope you're feeling better, Caroline. Um, so lots and lots of people are ordering. Um, Hayley says she's ordered. Pauline says it looks amazing. Pauline, you do need it, actually. Uh, Kathleen says she's just ordered hers. The, knit, the Knitwins, the Bridget and Rachel, British Rail, they have just ordered as well. Um, gosh, so many orders are going to go through to Kim. She's going to be really surprised, isn't she? And I'll get her to pick a name don't you worry uh, Christina says uh, she says she thinks she's ordered it that's good I'm sure you have <laughs> um uh, Sally says, I love glass clothes. They are best for dishes. Oh, gla the glass cloths. Yeah, that absolutely. Um, June said, Ooh, just made my first payment to an email through PayPal. It's quite easy, isn't it? You have to be brave. I know you have to be brave. But once you've done it, it's actually quite easy. It's like, was it, was it that easy? Have I really done it? Yes, you have. <laughs> Sue says, ordered, I hope. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you have, Sue. Um, so let's have a look further down the, the line here. Let's have a look. Um, Gemma's put the link up again for us. Thank you very much. And that's the Instagram link. Thank you, Gemma. So if you want to follow Kim on Instagram, um, there's her link that Gemma's just posted. Um, so lots and lots of people have said they've ordered it. Um, that's really great to know because um, oh, uh, Sarah says she's just about to order after this. Karen says she, she will order after the live. Um, Julie, Judy says looks lovely. Yes, it is. Um, Violet says great book. Uh, Jean says trying to trying to find it came on late. Um, Oh, oh, you're trying to find the live. Yeah, I know it, Facebook can be tricky sometimes. Karen says, yes, ordered the book. Ah, oh, lovely. Um, Marion says, I've ordered it too as well. Oh, that's amazing. I would imagine that Kim's phone is going ping, ping, ping. <laughs> <laughs> Tina says she says you've inspired me to sort a box of her scraps totally totally that's what scraps are for if you can't get a five inch strip go, go for a four inch strip or even three and just piece them together don't even think about how good it is by the time you've pieced them together given it a press put the backing on even if it's an old blanket back it quilt it even with a hand stitch straight machine stitching put it on a large stitch three or four go through all the layers your machines will cope I promise you and you will have made yourself the most beautiful heirloom and quite honestly we need these quilts um at the moment don't we I'm sitting at, on the sofa with mine I can assure you around my shoulders I don't know about you but I have it around my shoulders um so, uh, oh, Jackie says she's going to order some fabric as well soon. Yeah, keep a look out on Instagram, Jackie. That's where she, she promotes it. Um, and Caroline says, next time I go to the charity shops, I'll get some shirts. Yeah, you need the men's shirts. Look for cotton. Look for really good quality if you can. Um, I bought a extra large white linen shirt a few months ago, and the quality is superb. So lots of people saying they've ordered, lots of comments about it. It's just so lovely to have you, have you all on, on this live with me tonight. I hope you go and buy the book. It's been such fun to talk to you. I must now go downstairs, see what's happened to Millie. Hope she's OK. I, th I don't know if she, she found something that she wanted and thought, I'm going to tell everybody. I don't know. She's all right. Um, Jackie says she's got her book and it's beautiful. Yes, it is, Jackie. That's, it certainly is. And I hope you enjoy reading yours and just drooling over the pictures when you get it. And it'll give you huge amounts of inspiration, I'm sure. So there we are. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Have a fabulous rest of your Friday evening. And I will see you all again on Monday when we are begin, going to do our Making It Monday, which is called Frosty. And actually, it's been in full view all evening. I'm going to leave you there. Speak to you soon. Bye.